Hello everybody, it's Kate at Rambling on Kate. Um, hope everyone's having a great day. It's a beautiful, sunny with a cool breeze, east coast kind of Wednesday. There's chaos. And there's he and I's hotel room for the night last night. And I'll stay in there again tonight. He likes it when I sleep outside with him. This is a well, it's an old but new tent. Brand new, but we hadn't used, I hadn't used it for like eight years. <laughs> it's just been setting up in a closet. And I need to test it out before I ever take the camping. And the pop-up, though, I like it because it's just so easy. It just pops up. You want to get in here for a minute? You want to get in here for a minute? I don't usually let him hang out here during the day. Especially if it's a nice day because he just gets everything dirty. Alright, so mom's gonna try to get in here wearing Crocs with a broken leg. Oops. Okay. So this is made by Bash Pro. And now I'm not sponsored by them or Engel or anything in here you might see a label on. But this is a 7x7. Seven seven. Um, it is considered a four man tent. And it would have to be four skinny men or four maybe smallish teenager kids because it's not to me camping alone is perfect I mean it's not a cold weather tent but bundled up enough I could use it in, in cold weather but I mean it's okay for fall camping so I'm sitting here on the cot I've left a little space between me and the wall um, just so that I don't roll over and put my face or my, my myself up against a damp um, sidewall. This has a nice rain fly that allows the windows to stay open. Last night I kept all the windows pretty much open. This one here, the front one, I closed all but the top just to get good air, keep air, good airflow, and so I didn't get too hot, and so that you know. Not that anyone could see me unless they're in the house. I'm pretty fairly close to the house. Probably 25 yards. Maybe 30 yards from the house. I don't want to get too far this direction, which I'm probably about 15 yards from the little wooded uh, brushy area between me and the neighbor's house. Because I don't want to get too far from the Wi-Fi. Because when I'm out here at night, it's just me chaos I like to uh, be able to use my tablet my phone and have Wi-Fi my phone will be its own source of Wi-Fi it's Xfinity and, and it's an Apple phone so it can be its own Wi-Fi but to me it's just not as big a pull but uh and we have a Wi-Fi like I said we have a Wi-Fi booster in the house but this is my Ingle dry box uh, right now there's really nothing in it it's bear proof yeah because there's so many bears where I'm at but right now it's just got a big long extension cord. So if um, out here in the yard, if say my uh, uh, my solar charger uh, is running low and I want to run a, a line to the house, I can. But um, and there's not really any kind of food or anything in it right now, just because I'm out here in the yard. Last night I did eat in here, but I bundled up my trash. So in here right now it's just my little emergency port of toilet which I ended up using more like a trash can uh, a garbage bag some pillows um, the cot it's a really great cot um, it would be more comfortable if I was younger and you know 30 pounds lighter because it doesn't really give you a good leverage but I have a really thick afghan on the bottom and then this is a pad made for putting on a cot um, and it's more for warmth than like cushion a foam mattress would be great but I don't mind this cot it's like 78 inches so it's a little bit longer than my twin bed and so it fits in here fine but you know to me I feel like I'm a little too close to the edges I tried to do it diagonally but it just cut out too much space and not like I need all this floor space but kind of with my broken leg and the fact that crawling around and I can I can stand up bent over in here to climb out, but anywho, what's that chaos? Where you be in? Let's go back to the house and have your, you got your lunch in the, on the porch. 
he does like to hang out in here sometimes and he does want to stick his little claws in the bottom but anywho I camped out with him last night and I'm gonna I will tonight um, we're supposed to get some rain in a couple days so I may leave the tent up just to test it on waterproof listen the seams and all that kind of stuff because I don't like to go you know especially being just myself going camping I mean I always take the two men as a backup in case there's a tent issue but the two man has leaks a little bit around the windows which I need to reseal those and um, it's just me I don't want to go out and be surprised by you know not having a tent pole or you know being stuck I have to sleep in my car or somewhere like that so anyhow um, I also used this like a little nightstand and I set my uh, my tablet up on it to watch but I've noticed oh look there he put some little bitty holes in there bad chaos bad kitty let's get out of here um right there I will lose Wi-Fi but if I come you know that's seven feet over here and set it up here then I have Wi-Fi all night so I'm kind of right on that line of where our Wi-Fi booster doesn't uh and it's not a wee boost it's just oops sorry sorry about that I just not real coordinated. Oh, move, move, kitty. Getting in and out of here. No, because you're just going to lounge and put holes and stuff. So I can use a little dot of sealer to seal up those little holes. Because I'm not, I just don't want to go buy new tents. They're so expensive these days. Here's my little chair. And then last night there were, when I was setting up, there were some mosquitoes. So I had a little citronella light. I always take a little rug camping. Sometimes I set it inside to set damp boots on. Sometimes I put it outside. Usually my tarp comes out kind of like a little porch, but I didn't super open the tarp. The ground was dry, not expecting rain, and I just didn't want to battle it in the wind yesterday. But we had a nice evening. Um, the only snafu which some people will think is funny, but I think you should share it because I like to be honest. And it's something that when you get up into your 50s and older, and especially if you're carrying a little weight, you can have potty issues. That's why I have the emergency potty, which ends up being a trash can because it's, it's made for children. Anyway, I peed my pants last night. Yep. Yes, sir, I did. Chaos didn't bother to get up, but he was kind of like, I'm embarrassed for you, Mom. I mean, please, go outside, scratch a little hole. He doesn't quite get it that I can't do that, but I hadn't slept the night before, so um, I stayed up to about 2, and then I took a, a sleeping pill so that the bright moonlight and any traffic noise, which you can hear from the highway over there, uh, wouldn't disturb me, so I was sleeping pretty hard, and I woke up and I thought it was earlier, I mean later in the morning, but because it was so bright from that harvest moon, but anyway, I woke up because I had to pee, and I had to like really pee, and at home it's not, a, you know, in the house, you just hop up and walk to the bathroom, but uh, being out in the tent, once I set up and my, uh, <laughs> the fat from my tummy pushed on my bladder and I was, you know, bent over, I was like, oh my god, I have really, really, really got to go, but by the time I got out of the sleeping bag and uh, found my shoes and you know was crouched to stand up and get over I was like oh my god I'm not gonna make it so luckily I had an extra couple bath towels in there in case of like cat throw up or I spill something so I just sat down on one of those and finished peeing and chaos just you know he sat up and looked at me and then you know, he reached over and licked my bottom and got like, how you gonna clean that up, Mom? He's like, get out of here. You smell like pee. You dirty, nasty human. So, once I was done and embarrassed for myself, but then again, you know, it was like, oh, the relief. I wouldn't have wanted it to run all over me. So, I climbed out, brought my wet towel, and hobbled <laughs> in my Crocs, which is slow, which I probably wouldn't have made it all the way anyway because I just can't get up and walk quickly into the house which I knew that something I had to worry about you know but I gosh I you know and I did drink a lot last night right before bed I mean I drank a lot and a couple of big waters and you know dum da dum dum and anywho 
So I went in the house, uh, took a quick little shower, clean off, rinse off, and uh, put on some jammies. I had pretty heavy sweats on, which luckily they absorbed it, the towel absorbed everything. But uh, so yeah, yeah, I'm in my mid 50s and I peed myself while camping. Which camping actually, I probably if my leg wasn't broke, I probably could have crawled out of the tent and you know dropped my pants and you know, peed a few feet away and it would have been no issue. But, um, because the moonlight was so full and though the neighbors really couldn't, you know, it was three o'clock in the morning, not like anyone was going to see me just dropping trout and peeing in my yard. It just, you know, even though I could have gone over here behind this tent and, you know, maybe a couple critters might have viewed me. I just, you know, uh, I just can't do it with my broken leg. I can't really, uh, squat but um, I probably could have crawled out but I wasn't gonna set bare ass on the ground and pee so and I have a pee bottle but you have to be able to squat and crouch you know with your legs spread to use the pee bottle and so I think for camping purposes for like late night stuff or you know I'm gonna just get uh, a, a five gallon bucket and get the little uh, Lucy Lou lid thing for it you know and for traveling I think that'll be the best bet because, you know, this tent is big enough that I could, you know, pull it over in the middle of the tent and sit down on it and have plenty of headroom and all that good stuff. Um, but I haven't bothered to try to do any camping this late summer or fall because of dum da dum dum stupid leg, which uh, the boot is causing me a lot of pain. So, um, Monday I see the uh, fourth and I'm asking if I can please start just not wearing it everywhere but just from the house and taking a few steps in the yard I've just used my crock it's much easier and I've got to start rehabbing this leg myself anyway so anyhow that was last night's camping experience so um and I stayed in the tent till I slept really late I mean because I got up and I like I said after I went in the shower it was still like 3 30 I was like dang but I came back out and went right to sleep um I stayed there to up until about 10 this morning which is nice um and then i just kind of lounged in there and it was nice and cool and, and chaos had already got up and left for the morning to go out and prowl and check out his yard yeah you did and uh yeah then i got up and i organized clean organized the tent last night i had the bed um going um, from left to right long ways under that back window with some space and um because I didn't want to risk, you know, a weird shower at night, and um, I was probably a little too far away from the back wall, and it just seemed a little cramped. Um, so I think I like this layout much better. But um, uh, and I've got more room for my my rock, rock pals charger, and if I was using the solar panels, I could bring them in the tent, which you know. Typically, modern camping now, your car is not very far from your tent. But um, I do like to um, camp, not next to my car if I don't have to. Especially doing some backwest camping. But, anywho, that was last night's adventure. And uh, so we'll see how tonight goes. Tomorrow, I have a doctor's appointment um, in the afternoon. So I don't know if I will actually. Uh, camp tomorrow night out. Um, I think we're supposed to possibly be getting some rain um, and it's supposed to be a little bit cooler but um, during the day I've gone back inside where there's the AC and I can prop my leg up and um, this time of day which is almost four o'clock the uh, sun is hitting right on that tent. It's too hot to be in there but in another probably hour or so these trees this great big holly and my little maple well that will be in shade so until about one o'clock this afternoon the tent was shaded by the Norwegian spruce yeah so I'm just lay there on the little rug anywho um, so I'm going back in um, gonna finish watching some videos unload the dishwasher I got some uh, the towels from last night's PP episode and um, 
I cover my whole cell and the bed and everything with a, a sheet on top of my, my blankies so that Chaos can uh, make himself a a nice uh, cushy little bed spot and I can uh, uh, keep dirt and stuff off the actual sleeping bag and his claws out of the actual sleeping bag and blankets. But anyhow, so I'm going to finish up some laundry and uh, think about what I'm going to do for dinner, which I had a late lunch, but uh, think about what I'm going to do for dinner and then probably once it cools off and I know I can like lounge out here in the tent, I can just watch whatever I want to, TV videos, whatever on my tablet and, and then have a night out here with chaos. Hope it'll cool off and I'll come get my little swing, which is swinging all by itself. And uh, we'll have another camping night. So uh, I'll probably talk to you guys later. Have a great day. I hope your fall is going well. Uh, happy pre-Halloween. Bye-bye.